Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today I'm doing a super fun rose chain pull. Now this isn't the easiest technique, but it is a really fun one to play around with. And I think mine came out great. I started off with a base of white paint and all of the paints that I'm using in this video are Mixed Media Girl pouring paints. These reds I actually just put into cups to make it a little bit easier for me to use them how I wanted to use them but I'm using primary red and Merlot for my roses. Now here I'm using a ball chain and this is just the kind you can get on a spool from Michaels, from Amazon, etc. It doesn't really matter the size of it, but I created essentially a C shape with my colors, put the chain into it and then pulled it outwards and kind of wobbled it a little bit as I pulled to give it a little more um, character, I guess. I didn't want it to be perfect. And then I did another one, not necessarily right next to that, because, you know, in nature, nothing's really perfect. It's all kind of wonky, and um, the rose petals, they're not necessarily perfect. So I'm just continuing to do that. I'm doing a series of C's, essentially getting smaller and smaller as I go and kind of overlapping some of them a little bit. I pre-cut a bunch of chains uh, different sizes because I knew I would need some longer ones for the outside petals and then some shorter ones for the inside petals. Now to tell the truth here, I still had a little bit too much paint on my canvas and on the base coat, a little too much of that white paint. So next time I do this, I'm going to run some more of it off of the canvas, but it still worked out. And in this part, sometimes people actually take like a pipette or something like that and remove some of the excess paint from the center, but I just went with it and I didn't end up having any issues with cracking or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw some relaxing music down while I do the rest of this rose. Once I was done with the rose, I decided to add some leaves and greenery so that I didn't just have this big awkward white background. Um, for the leaves, I used Everglade green and meadow green. So I would have two different, um, you know, darknesses and tones of greens. And I did a chain pull on these leaves as well. Um, <laughs> to be perfectly honest, this part was super improvised. So I wasn't sure how many leaves I would want, how exactly I would do the leaves, etc. So basically I did a chain pull with three leaves here as if I was doing kind of the feather chain pull technique and that actually worked pretty well. Um, but as you can kind of see, the, the canvas still felt really bare after that and then it was kind of awkward with just like three leaves. <laughs> And I was thinking, should I do a bunch of leaves throughout the whole thing or just add some slightly more abstract greenery? And so I went with the second option. I uh, actually grabbed a plastic bag and dipped it into some of the green and kind of just uh, spread that in between the leaves. And then I ended up adding a few more leaves. So once again, I'm going to just throw some music behind here so you guys can see the whole process.
So I think the next time that I do this, I will probably add greenery around the entire background. Uh, but for this piece, I decided to just leave some of the white and kind of do half green. I'm not totally sure why. It just seemed like a good idea. And I'm pretty happy with how it came out. So here is a close up of the rose wet with the greenery. And yeah, I, I definitely have ideas on how to do this a little bit better next time, but I really like it and I really hope that you guys like it as well.